how to use the clipping mask for my nameplate project. So I should have an image in my Photoshop. If yours is like mine and it doesn't have more than one layer, you're going to want to add a layer. That's my button here. And I also want that layer to be underneath my texture or background that I chose. Oops, before I can do that, I need to unlock this. If I double click, rename it, you can call it whatever you want, it doesn't really matter. And I want my blank layer underneath it. Now while I'm on my blank layer, I'm going to choose to use a text tool. Before I do that, however, I do want to turn the visibility off on this layer, which means to click the eye and I don't see it anymore. It's still there, I just don't want to see it because it's going to be kind of confusing to me. Now I come over here and choose the horizontal type tool. You'll notice this changes. You want it to be here. This is horizontal type. Um, pretty much everything else doesn't really matter other than the font. And you can scroll through till you find a font you want. That's going to be hopefully easy to read and fun to play around with. I'm going to try wide Latin. And I'm just going to click right here. Size doesn't matter. I am going to do mine in all caps, I think. And you can click your check mark. Now you'll notice I have these uh, the move tool highlighted. So I can just click and drag to resize it. Be careful because you don't want to distort it, although mine was a little skinny. The corner hopefully should keep it in perspective. And I want mine to kind of fill the screen, and you can always play with that. In the middle, remember, you can move around your item. Once you have your font in the text, if for some reason you decide, oh, I don't like that font, I choose my text tool again. Oh, first of all, every time you get done doing something, you want to click the check mark. I choose my text tool again, and I double click in there, and it is going to allow me to make sure it's on the same level. Then you can go in and choose a different font if you want. Um, how about Tempus? Oh, that's boring. I don't like that either. Let's do... I want something kind of bold. I like that either. I did a, uh, how about this? Let's try this one. Oh, I like that. Okay. And then again, resize it as to fill your space. Come back up to your background or your texture. Unlock it. Oops, I got to click my check mark. Click on it. Unlock it or make it visible. And all you have to do is the shortcuts control G and it applies a clipping mask. And basically my text is cut out of that. Now if you notice my text is way too much yellow so I'm going to, right here you see the bounding box for my background, I'm going to resize my my background, my, my uh, texture. And now you don't want to go smaller than your text, but you want to try to get all the, I want to try to get all the colors. Now notice right there my O peeking out, that's because it's seeing the font underneath. I don't want to do that. Somewhere a happy medium. So you kind of have that diversity, uh, in my case, of color. And then when you're happy with it, you check it. And now you've used the clipping mask.